So, if you haven't heard this already, which is highly unlikely because it has recently blown up quite big, um, James Gunn, I don't know how long ago, but at one point in time he made a bunch of um, pedophilia jokes. And Disney ultimately fired him for it. Um, now, before I want to start this episode, I want to say that I in no way defended his actions or tweets, and I think they are vile and uh, unfunny, to say the least. And I wouldn't say I got offended by them, but yeah, no, just th that. I think there is a list. There should be a list of things you don't make fun of: pedophilia, rape, I guess. That's kind of one thing, um, or at least minimizing it in one way or another, um, and murder probably, unless you're a good comedian, um, and even then if you're a good comedian, it's going to be hard to make them funny, but I think the top of that list is definitely um, pedophilia, because that's like one of the things you can almost never make funny. Like, I'll, you know, you can try, but you will most likely fail. Um, but yeah. Um, so let's look at this. Should he have been fired for those tweets? Despite, you know, their content, so should he be fired for tweets? Right, so this strikingly reminds me of. Uh, well, not strike. Right. This reminds me of somebody else who also got fired for tweets. Mozan Park. That's if I'm getting an incorrect. Um I think I am. Anyway. Um she got fired because she compared a black woman that looks like a white woman to a human monkey. From Planet of the from the original Planet of the Apes. Some people took offence to that when I don't I don't I didn't really see it myself, but some people saw it and so like, yeah. And honestly, she did. Unless she would told me specifically that she was um, of African descent, I was like, she just looks like any white woman to me. I, well, she does look like any white woman to me, but I wouldn't have guessed that she would be Af African descendant. But anyway, she was fine for that. Now there's two camps here. People that said she should have been fired for it, and people that said she shouldn't have been fired for it. Now, here's the thing. Depending on what you said there, should not change now. If you said that she should have been fired, then so should he, so should James here. Uh, if you said she shouldn't have been fired, then neither should James. And, uh, well that's simply it, and if you flip-flop here saying that Roseanne shouldn't have been fired but he should have then uh, um, you're just bi you're being biased I mean you can say that you uh, you can say all you want that um, you know they're not comparable in severity where paedophilia is a lot worse than accidentally calling someone who is apparently of African descent or comparing them to a monkey person you know th I will agree they are um, you know, what Roseanne did was a lot less bad, um, you know, not, but essentially it comes down to, um, so, well, ABC, was it those who ran her show, well, anyway, you know, it comes down to the people who won, you know, her show, you know, they, um, didn't like it, you know, so they, you know, fired her. And they're well within their rights legally to do that. Like, if we're talking legally, yeah, they, they're well, the studios are well within their rights to fire both of them. And that's just like, yeah, you have um, people who are liberals who have said a lot worse things than that, and they're still not fired. Like, there's a woman who called another woman. I think it was um, the Trump's wife, yeah, Trump's wife, the um, C word on live television, and she's still got her job. So um, I see that more of the studio being biased towards, you know, favouring liberal, someone who's liberal and bashing the Trumps, 
rather than someone who's conservative and is skeptical of like um, immigrate, mass immigration um, and all that lovely, fun, you know, interesting stuff. Um, and I think I, I agree more with Disney firing Prissier than I do with them. Like, I still, you know, don't entirely agree with it, but I can see why Disney, you know, would want to fire him and there's not a bias because Disney strives to make themselves look kid friendly. And the least kid friendly thing is someone who makes pedophile jokes. Like, yeah, so obviously to keep their image up, they will want to fire a man. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, and I am more forgiving of that than um, Roseanne's, um, Roseanne being fired because that was that just seems mostly out of bias. But again, you know, those years want to do what they want to do. Um, if ABC wants to fire one of the star of one of their biggest shows, and then relaunch the show without her, which is doomed to flop, then by all means they can throw shit, ton, shit tons of money down the, the drain if they really want to. Um, but this just seems more like Disney wanting to keep up an image rather than then really being that bothered about him actually tweaking something. Um, right. If you want to think that Roseanne shouldn't have been fired, and he should have, because potatoes, you know, whatever, then, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, um, you know, both studios were well within their rights to fire both of them. And, you know, uh, and I will def I definitely think it's going to turn out a lot better for one of them than the other, if you ask me. <laughs> Disney's going to turn out better. <laughs> mm. But yeah. Um, there was something else I wanted to mention. Um, hmm. And I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, um, what I was going to say is, um, Disney, if I was in charge of Disney, I would have kept it on hire, but I would have called the police and asked them to do a thorough investigation to see if he is a threat to any uh, children, and it, um, if he turns out to be a threat there, according to the police, and obviously I'd fire him on the spot. But if he turned out to be a non-threat, and this was just a bunch of stupid tweets he made to just be like, edgy and funny, like a few years back or whenever it was, then I'd keep him on eye because he did do a good, he did do a lot of good work on Guardians of Galaxy 1 and 2. Um, and apparently he was working on fr Volume 3, which Switching a director between, you know, in the middle of a movie, that hardly ever turns out good for the movie. Like, my main thing would be, okay, let's at least get him to finish Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 or any other projects he's working on right now, and then look into firing him. Because, like I said, um, switching a director in between, you know, in the middle of a movie, is, you know, never, hardly ever turns out good for the movie. Right. Um, before now, I was, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, there's ha there's probably going to be no way they're going to F up a guy as a galaxy movie. Now I'm just like, hmm, that might hurt it. But yeah, tell me what you think. Do you think he, he should have been fired? Do you think he shouldn't have been fired? Do you think Rosen should have been fired? Do you think Rosen shouldn't have been fired? Do you agree with me that um, both shouldn't have been fired, but both companies are well within their rights to do so? Um, anyway, I'll see you guys... Uh, well, actually, I'll probably be live-streaming later, because I'll be 
doing some, um, I'll be trying to speed on Happy Stance Island in Pokemon Quest. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.